up you guys it's Megan and today on the 100 baby sims challenge Aaliyah is going to be turning into an elder I don't remember if you guys or I don't know if you guys saw the last episode but Aaliyah she got super close to becoming an elder and then she got abducted by aliens so everybody is exactly how I left them no time has passed I'm recording this episode right after the other because I'm going out of town to sims camp if you guys missed the announcement I was letting you guys know that the sims 100 baby sim challenge I, 100 baby challenge I don't know what it's called it's going to be airing twice a week on my channel now on t Tuesdays and Saturdays I think is what I said it as I'm not quite sure if those are gonna be the set dates but I do plan on airing it twice a week since I am settled into my apartment um, so I'm very excited for that and I hope that you guys are too so Aaliyah is turning into an adult a grandma today and <laughs> not a grandma like an elder I guess she's, no she won't be a grandma because none of her kids have had kids yet that must be very disappointing she is just going to turn into an elder, um, and then we are going to work more on getting Luna up to par with her homework by doing extra credit and all that jazz so that she can become an A student and we can immediately level her up into a teenager because she is going to be the next valid or the next matriarch. I keep on saying valid Victorian, it's not a valid Victorian. She could be the valid Victorian of her school. So here we go, it's Aaliyah's birthday. So I think what we're actually going to do this episode is we are gonna I'm gonna repair all this stuff because you know a mother's work is never done, right? So we're repairing everything that's broken and I think for Aaliyah's birthday we are gonna throw her a birthday party, like a legit party, and we are going to upgrade the appliances, get her some new stuff, get some stuff that doesn't break. We have $17,500 to spend, so that is very exciting. I'm gonna mop this up, throw this away, and then we are going to make a phone call. Um, how do I do this? Plan social event. I can't believe I missed that. My eyeballs just missed it in total. So we are planning a social event. Um, let's see. Dance party, black and white bash, weenie roast, house party, incognito costume event, wedding, birthday party. Cost $100. It's a prestige event. Birthday parties come and go once a year, whatever. Um, so we are going to invite some sims. What is this? Click to invite a sim. How many sims can I invite? I want to invite them all. I can only invite eight sims. I literally can only invite the household. Oh wait, the birthday sim. Aaliyah, obviously. Aaliyah. <laughs> invite sims. At least, okay, here we go. This is where it gets crazy. So of course the people who live here are already invited. So we're going to invite Starbucks. We're going to invite this guy. We need to invite, we'll invite Jade. We don't really know her. In this episode or in this series we'll invite all of our past kids we'll invite Liam and then everybody else that we can invite just for the fun of it okay so that's it I think yes I have all of my past kids invited caterer let's see I don't know if any of these people can cater the event hire this role one yeah Mixologist entertainer. No, we don't need any of that. Well, do we need an entertainer? We'll hire an entertainer. We hired a caterer. I just want to have it at the party or at the house. Yeah, like a house party. So, okay, some tips for sexually successful event. Entertainers need a piano. Birthday celebrants need a cake. So, what we're going to do is we're going to have Aaliyah cook herself a birthday cake. A white cake. I guess the birthday is happening now. I was not aware. Um... Outfits, change outfit into um, some party attire or some formal attire. So the house is about to be popping. I was not prepared. I should have set a different time. The entertainer needs a piano. So let's go into buy mode. Because we do, that's not what I wanted. Because we do want to have a very successful party. Piano. Thousand dollars. That's not too bad. I thought it would be more. So we're just gonna pop a piano right there for any entertainer that needs to entertain people. So I need to have. We're gonna cook. We're gonna cook a. Um. Actually, we need to make a group meal. So we're gonna. I keep on clicking the wrong thing. We need to serve breakfast because we're having a completely weird morning birthday party. So we're cooking everybody breakfast. Please do not, Alex. Alexki, please. Oh, I thought I almost started a fire on her birthday. I think like, you are a level 10 chef. You do not need this in your life. 
You can do it. So, oh, and all the kids went to school during my birthday party. That's great. So I'm making a group meal now for everybody. What are you doing? On your own birthday. On your own birthday. That's great. All the guests are arriving and you're asleep on the floor. You're asleep on the floor. You are asleep on the floor. Continue making the breakfast scramble, please. And so then we are going to immediately, yes, call everybody to the meal. Let's, uh, I don't know. I want to hire a pianist for $100. So he's on his way. We're all socializing. We need to immediately, <laughs> there's not enough room in here for this party. Cook, we are now going to cook a chocolate cake. There's so many people in here, it's going to be hard to execute this because I'm sure as soon as I start to make the cake, um, people will try to eat it. Come on, guys, let's clear out of the kitchen. This is not the hangout place. This is not where we want to be. This party is a disaster. I'm trying hard to not make it a disaster though. We want to blow out the birthday candles and become an elder. And then everybody can eat cake after that. You know what? I want to sell this. Um, I'm tired of this being here in the way. We get nothing for it because it's broken, of course. Oh, good. We're going to have so many dishes to throw away after this party. Resume the chocolate cake. No, fall asleep on the ground again. That's fine. We're going to make it through, I hope. Oh, we have, like, no time left on the party. Please. Please wake up. Please wake up. This is important. Play. Resume the chocolate cake. Please. I wish I could get everybody out of the kitchen, but I can't. That's like all I want to do is get everybody out of the kitchen because I need to blow out the birthday candles. And I should have prepared the cake before, but I just didn't think to. I'm the worst. Oh gosh, guys. I'm, I'm afraid. And as soon as the cake comes out, I have to be ready to catch it so that I can put it, put birthday candles on it so that nobody blows it out or anything like that. I hired a pianist. I don't know where he is. He's on the lot, but he's not playing the piano. Am I still making the cake? I am still making the cake. Stop socializing for like five seconds and just finish the cake, please. All right, so this is the tricky part. Pause, yes, grab this, move this here. Um. Play zero, pause, add birthday candles. Yes, okay, this is where we have the birthday celebration. This is where it's happening. This is what we wanted to see, okay? So we are gonna blow out candles. We're gonna press play. We're gonna watch the event. Please don't pass out from exhaustion again. I know you're old. You can drink your prune juice and take all the naps you want right after you grow up. Oh no, her back hurts. Oh, and my game is like frozen a little bit. Hello? Oh, I have to pick her stuff. Okay, seniority. Yay. Okay, so everybody can take a piece. Everybody eats the cake before the party ends. Can everybody eat cake, please? Call the meal, everybody? Everybody grab a piece? Yes? I don't think we're gonna be able to get it to gold. Cause I can't get us all to listen to music at the same time. But we had a good party overall. So that's what matters. Oh, we're old, we're cute. We had a really good party. We're gonna go to sleep from sleep exhaustion. Like I said, guys, in this episode, this is gonna be a really good episode for Leah. We're gonna give her a makeover. We're gonna give her some, some really good um, home redecoration stuff <laughs> because she had a really good birthday party so um please leave ask to just be friends because we're kind of old now we gotta say bye to everybody oh good the pianist is here leave 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 bums me out you just got here when literally oh, gosh well we sold the piano we got pretty much back what we paid for it 
so that's great. We still have some party guests hanging around. Um, Ellie is far too uncomfortable. Okay, she needs to use the restroom. She needs to take care of herself. She just needs to do a lot of damage control. Well, she's the new elder. She's very cute. I wish that she was... Yes, there we go. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna change Aaliyah's appearance. Gross. Look what she did to the toilet. Look at what she just did. Ugh. The toilet was not dirty or broken before she sat on it and ruined it. She soiled it, you guys. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna give Aaliyah a makeover. Just a, not a big one. Just she's old now, um, so we want to make sure that she kind of looks the part. Maybe. Okay, that's cute. Yes. Okay, this is adorable for like a little old lady. Because definitely, you know, whenever you get older, you just start to cut your hair. I think I might go with something like this. Because I think that that's probably very adorable. Um, if you notice, a lot of people who are elders, they don't usually have long hair. It's just too much to deal with. Okay, so I think maybe what I'll do is I'll go with this hairstyle. You know, very high fashion. High fashion elder woman. We need to make the eyebrows brown gray too, obviously. And then we need to adjust her makeup because she is no longer, um, you know, that glamorous. <laughs> Let's just, you know, beautiful. And then we can also take off her red lips. She doesn't need them anymore. She has had her days of finding suitors and men to entertain. Does that sound gross? That sounds really gross. <laughs> okay, now I'm just gonna put it in fast forward mode until I can find something for Ali to wear. Um, you know, I want it to be pretty modest. Nothing, nothing like this, nothing like this, because, you know, she's had her time. She's had her time of fun and exciting outfits. Now we just gotta find like a nice sweater. Yeah, that's cute. Something like that, maybe. Okay, so this is kind of what I did for Aaliyah. She's, you know, she didn't need too much touching up. She just needed a little bit of an outfit change. You know, she's got her supportive sneakers on. She's got like, you know, her little cardigan. I think she looks adorable and I love her. I also told you guys I would be making over the boys because I know that you guys really like that. And I think I'm gonna change their hair color because I don't quite like it, the bright red. Um, I know that it should probably be red, but I'm kind of just over it. I don't like it. Um, so immediately I'm just going to change all their hair colors to this. Luna's hair will stay red um, until maybe she grows up a little bit more. But for right now, I just, since these boys are not too, they're not too important to the plot of the story, um, I'm just going to change up their genetics. So first we have Ruben. He is Glenn and he is rambunctious. So we need to find something that like says, yo, I'm rambunctious. Why does he have earrings? I guess that's a pretty good indicator. But like, really? <laughs> Remove the earrings, please. Now, I really do like this shirt. I think it's very adorable. It's very cute. It's very rambunctious, rambunctious scamp to me. And so let's just go and change his pants. Cause I already, let's see. You know, I really don't feel like I can do much with the boys on The Sims because their looks can just be very basic. Like I don't need to mess with his formal wear because they don't go anywhere formal. His athletic maybe can use a little bit of an update, but that's about it. Honestly, his sleep, this looks ridiculous. <laughs> He's wearing a long sleeve shirt and then some boxers. So let's like randomize that a little bit. He just still looks rambunctious, like just weird. Just weird, like what are you, an old man? Why do you? <laughs> okay, I guess we'll give him this. We'll give him this. This is pretty cool. And for a little party outfit, why not? Oh, for his little swimwear, what if I gave him a little suit like that? I don't think that would work, go over too well. So one of them is done. Now we gotta move on to Omar. So Omar is squeamish, but he's a social butterfly. So I think his hair is probably pretty good for this. Pretty squeamish, pretty social butterfly -y. Maybe something like this, maybe? That's a pretty cute hairstyle. Um, so maybe squeamish social butterfly, let's see. 
this I really like this shirt a lot um, I think it looks really uh, clean and nice maybe with like some complimentary red pants like he's really feeling it like this is him he's arrived to the party guys okay that's awesome these are weird I actually don't want to wear those so also don't want him to wear slippers either now let's head on over to Dax. Dax, I don't like Dax's hairstyle. He's an art lover and a social butterfly. Um, I feel like this is a very artistic hairstyle, but I just... <gasps> okay. Yes. Okay, Dax. I love it. I'm feeling it. I think that that's, really, that's a really cool hairstyle. So art lover, artistic, um, social butterfly. Hmm... This is a cool shirt. I wonder if it comes in a more neutral color pattern. Something that's not so like, something that can match with his hairstyle, but I don't think so. So maybe we'll just give him a little modest v-neck for right now. That's cool. And then let's see for his pants. Can we just give him jeans? Just black jeans. Okay, yes, I love that. That is adorable. I'm not gonna worry about the rest because honestly, we don't use the rest. And then I need to change Omar's hairstyle because it's the same as Dax's. <laughs> this is an adorable hairstyle. Let's see, rambunctious scamp. Rambunctious. That's not rambunctious at all. That is very kempt. This, okay. I feel like maybe now their hair is all up to what, what they would be, what they would be. So I don't, I also, maybe I could put their hair back to red. Oh wait, no, it has black on the ends. That's still pretty cool. Tell me what could you guys think. Do you like the hair red or do you want it to be black? I will turn it black, or yeah, you know, black for now. And let me know in the comments down below if you think that we should make it red. So, there we go. The whole family is updated makeovers, especially Aaliyah who needs it the most. Now, as mentioned before, we are gonna go on a little bit of a spending spree. Just to update some of the appliances around the house, make sure that they don't break a bunch. Um, just stuff along those lines. She's feeling it. Okay, so she can definitely, actually, I don't want her to go to sleep. I want to buy her a nicer bed. Get up, go here. Let's see what we can't afford in the bed department. This bed, we can sell it for about $1,000. Um, I know that there are some expensive beds out there, so I'm not really sure. What bed I should do? This is the most comfortable bed, Energy Relief 10. It's 12,000. It's expensive, but I think honestly this is what we need and then everybody can switch off with this bed just to get the like 10 sleep that they need. And this will help everybody sleep a lot better. So we're gonna sell that. Put that in there. I think that that looks awesome. We have $7,000 left to upgrade the rest of the house. So let's go to the bathrooms. And change the toilets because right now we have is this is the cheapest toilet we do have the cheapest toilet no wonder it keeps on breaking is it <gasps> we do have the cheapest toilet okay so let's see um <laughs> bladder 10 reliability three uncomfortable so we need a comfort this one's unbreakable that's probably what we need we need two of these i know you guys were definitely imagining that i would upgrade the toilets right this one doesn't break at all though, so that's a pretty good deal. Now let's see about showers. We only have about 3,000 left. Um, I think it's a pretty good use of money. The shower that we have right now is this one. Hygiene seven, stress relief two, discomfort relief two, reliability five. So we can move up um, just a little bit to probably this one. This one will probably hold us off for a little bit longer. Cancel, escape this. Sell that. Our showers and stuff are so old, they're only selling for like eight and $13. So that's weird, but that's okay. Throw that in there. Let's see, can I change the color at all? This one matches the most, even though I think it's ugly as heck. Um, but that's fine for right now. We can change the colors a little bit later. I'll make these color, these toilets kind of like a gray color too. Just so they aren't so awful. <laughs> um, what else can we afford? We only have $800, so we can't really afford much else. 
Oh, gross. He's gonna eat this partly eaten chocolate cake. Oh, gross. Oh, wait, or is he not? No, he's putting it away in the fridge. That's fine, I guess. Why are we talking to the pianist? Go home. Um, we're gonna go to sleep. Go away. Birthday elation. Nothing helps take away the pain of getting older like a good party. Aww. So now, as an elder, we are gonna have Aaliyah finish off her day with doing a few large classic paintings. Um, just maybe it, her skill like increases or her worth increases because she's older. How much time does she have to live? That sounds super morbid, but I need to know. Um, number of days lived, 145. But it doesn't say how old until death. That's kind of scary. I don't know, let's see. Let's do some math, you guys. So if we go to our settings, it doesn't have the amount of days. So I don't know. I don't know, you guys. I don't know how long she has to live. I guess we'll see. Okay, but as always, I think that that's a pretty good place to stop for this episode of the 100 Baby Sims Challenge. Um, we had a pretty successful day. We gave everybody little makeovers, and then we also had Aaliyah have her birthday, and now she's an elder. She can't have any more babies. So she maxed out at 16 babies. I'm so proud of her. Well, not exactly 16, but the aliens counted as two. So, you know, she still did her part. Make sure you leave a comment down below suggesting things to do with some of the other kids, and make sure you leave a like on the video if you enjoyed it. And don't forget to check out The Proper Idiots. Their link is in the description down below. The Proper Idiots is where we upload funny gameplay moments every single day, so if you guys want more of me, I am over on that channel all the time. There's a link for that in the description down below. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will talk to you guys next time. Bye! Run, run. Run. So if oh. I hurt you? Oh, man, no, you're mean! Does it, can you can you fix yourself now? No, I can't fix myself. <laughs> Are you serious? Are you serious? Are, Are you serious? serious? <laughs> Are you serious? <laughs> you be I wanna just <laughs> <laughs> so silent. I hate you. I hate you. <laughs> you. <laughs> <laughs> <Are. laughs> We're also locked. <laughs> Dang, he killed me at three C four. Oh god, he knows I'm here. He's gonna try to flank me. He is! He's trying to flank me! I can't! Yes!